Hi, my name is Molly Schaus. Um, I'm a Team USA ice hockey player. I played goalie for eight years. And I'm here with the LA84 Foundation just to make sure that you're staying active and healthy at home. Obviously, it's a, it's a tough time right now. We're all inside a lot. So I just wanted to share a few fun drills and exercises that I've been doing to stay active. And uh, hopefully you can learn something, have some fun, and get moving. We're all in this together. And so I was an ice hockey goalie. So you had to focus on the lower body a lot. Uh, a lot of leg strength and power. So we're just going to do a quick circuit of uh, different lunges and squats. So we'll start as a body weight squat. We're just going to go down and back up. And if you notice, my knees aren't going in front on top of my uh, toes. They're going to try to stay back, right, parallel, and then back up. From there, you can move into a forward lunge. Same thing, your knees over your ankle and back up. You can do them on each side. And finally, as you get going, you can do a lateral squat as well and sit back and really try to get that glute going. All right, so now that you're warmed up a little bit, we can move into skater jumps. So that's a fun one we do. Uh, it's a lot like goalie shuffling, but more explosive. So you're gonna be on one leg, you're gonna jump over and plant. All right, as explosive as, you, as, explosive as you can get, but try to stick the landing, all right? So another fun drill to do with minimal equipment uh, you can use scarves, tennis balls, these are street hockey balls. For me as a goalie, I had to focus on hand-eye coordination a lot. So this is a fun drill I taught myself as a kid, and I would use it before uh, games to warm up a little bit. So you can start juggling, usually just with one ball. You get comfortable in this motion right here. As you get going, you're going to throw the second ball into the mix. The trick is, is the first one gets to your uh, eyebrow height, You'll throw the second one underneath and trade hands, just like that. This set might take a while, but it's really important to get this pattern down, so it'll make it a lot easier when you mix in the third ball. It's that same pattern. All right, so you can have some fun with it. You know, one hand, back to the middle, leave an arc. There you go. One last drill you can do at home. As you see, I have a stick and a ball. And just anything simple. I'm using a, a chair, you can use shoes, you can use books, anything to stick handle around. Right? So just get started practicing that stick handling in front of you. Try to keep your head up as much as you can. Maybe over to the side, the other side. And once you get ready, you can use the chair as a fence pin and come up with different patterns to move the ball between the chair legs. To get better, you might bring your head up a little bit more. This is just a fun drill you can do. You'll be surprised how good the chair is at anything. Those are just some fun uh, drills you can do at home. You don't need any equipment, and they can work on your lower body strength. Good luck.